I've been thinking about the new law that moves all the city elections for mayor and city council to the same date in November when we vote for president or governor and all those propositions. It reminds me of Christmas and Easter services at local churches. If you're a regular churchgoer, you know that on these big religious holidays, you're being squeezed into the pews by these additional folks. The faithful part of you is happy that they're there, but the human part of you can't wait for next Sunday. And sometimes, if you're one of those infrequent visitors, the trouble finding a seat, much less a parking space, can reinforce your twice-a-year practice because that crowding turns you off as well. Now think about what this new law does. It puts every candidate that you can find, national, state, county, city, school board, dog catcher, on the same ballot. It's a ballot that if it were on one piece of paper would extend to the floor even if Shaquille O'Neal were holding it over his head. Moving local elections to when we vote for national and state offices and issues only hurts the locals. People will start with the offices they hear the most about, president, governor, ballot propositions, and by the time they get down to city council, which affects them much more than who's president, well, far too many will have walked out of the booth by then, leaving that blank. Good luck seeing them voting anytime soon. If Arizona politicians want people to participate more enthusiastically in elections, they can leave the dates alone and start encouraging candidates who are worth taking the time to vote for. It's quite plain that very little is being done about that lately. I'm Mark Scarp, and that's On The Mark. Want more? Read my column this Sunday and every Sunday in the East Valley Tribune. Thank you.